Now, South Africa is set to pilot a new HIV vaccine that can prevent transmission among HIV-negative people. Previously available in the U.S. for nearly 40,000 rand per person, the vaccine may eventually be available for just under 2,000 rand in South Africa. The country has about 8 million people living with the virus. The Global Health Initiative behind the pilot study says it hopes the drug would get, will get approval from the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority. This is early next year. Well, let's discuss this with the Deputy Director of the African Health Research Institute, Professor Tumbi Ndungu. Professor Ndungu, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. So, really important that this drug is now going to be piloted in South Africa. Tell us about what we know so far. Uh, good evening, uh, Cathy, and uh, good evening to the, to the viewers. And, and thank you for having me on the show. Uh, just to uh, correct that this is not a vaccine. Um, a vaccine is uh, something that would uh, stimulate the immune system mm. to actually fight the infection and prevent infection. This is actually not a vaccine, rather it is a drug. And so it uh, does not stimulate the immune system. What it does is to specifically target uh, HIV, the HIV virus. So it is actually a drug just like the drugs that we use to treat HIV infection, except that in this particular case, mm -hmm it is being used to actually prevent infection. So it is, it is given to people who are HIV negative, and if you take it, uh, then it can prevent HIV infection. So what, we have, uh, what has been shown before is that antiretroviral drugs are actually very, very effective in preventing HIV infection uh, themselves. Uh, and so to, a, to an extent, you could say that they work perhaps as, as well as mm. you would expect a vaccine to work. So, Professor Ndungu, how, how different then is this drug, as you're describing it, to something like pre-exposure prophylaxis or, or PrEP, as many people would know? Uh, so, thank you, uh, Cathy. So, so, the concept is very similar, mm. except uh, that uh, in the case of uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis, as we have it today, you, you take a, a daily pill. So, you take a daily pill of uh, antiretroviral drugs, and the, the current... Uh, drug that we take for prevention is known as Trovada, uh, which is a combination of uh, two antiretroviral drugs, but you take it as a pill and you have to take it uh, every single day. So what is different about this new uh, approach is that uh, we, uh, it's going to use a different uh, kind of drug known as an integrase inhibitor, and instead of taking it as a daily pill, you, you take it uh, actually as an injection so that uh, you take it as an injection and then it can protect you for up to two months. So once you get the injection, uh, because it is a long-acting drug, so it's long-acting carbotegravir, you don't have to take uh, to worry about taking mm -hmm. the drug, um, uh, or, or, you know, thereon for, for two months, which I think offers a great advantage, advantages over the current approach because one of the problems that we have seen with pre-exposure prophylaxis is a problem of adherence. People get tired of taking pills and some people skip uh, taking the pills, mm. but when you take it as an injection, as a long-acting injection, what it means is that for two months, you are basically protected and you don't have to worry. And uh, clinical trials comparing the daily pill with this injection two-month long-acting carbotegravir have shown that the, the long-acting drug, the injection, is actually much more superior in preventing new HIV infections compared to the, to the data peel. The issue of accessibility is going to be a big one around this particular drug. Let's talk about the chances. I mean, reducing it from its current cost that's, you know, really around 390,000 rand per person to making it accessible to the majority of South Africans, what is it going to take? Yeah, this is the biggest challenge I think we have at the moment. So the drug has actually been tested in clinical trials and, been, as I mentioned, has been shown to be active and superior to the, um, uh, to the daily oral pills, and that's probably because of the problem of the issue of adherence. But the cost of making this drug is prohibitive because uh, it is a long-acting drug and the technology that is used to make the drug is different from the, 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 the tablet. And so what that means is that it costs much more. In the U.S., 
it costs about uh, uh, almost 400,000 uh, uh, rands uh, for the you know to take the pill for an, for a an year. Now that that's definitely prohibitive. It's not something that uh, people in South Africa would uh, would afford. And as you know, HIV is uh, obviously a condition that affects uh, mostly people in poor countries, uh, such as uh, South Africa, low and middle income countries. So unless the company that uh, is manufacturing this drug is willing to reduce the cost, and it is estimated that uh, the cost of taking uh, oral PrEP is about 2,000 rands, unless you can reduce the cost to about that much, it is unlikely that you're going to have widespread usage of this uh, mm-hmm. of, of this uh, particular drug. So we're in a, in, a, in a big fix, and what we need is for the drug company to work with national governments and with other uh, multilateral organizations to make sure that the drug is made available to people who need it, but at a much lower cost than, it, than is currently uh, the case. Otherwise, we will not have uh, buy-in, we will not have people use the, the drug, and uh, we will be in an unfortunate situation where we know how to prevent HIV infection, but are, but are unable to afford it and we are not able to prevent new HIV infections. All right. Deputy Director of the African Health Research Institute, Professor Tumbin Dungu, let me thank you for your time on that story.